Well, new at noon, a home is evacuated when the one next to it goes up in flames this morning in Covington. Not on your side, Dolly Kramer was at the scene and walks us through the efforts to protect as much as possible. Firefighters responded here to this home on Altamont at about 8 o'clock this morning, but they believe that it may have actually started much earlier because there was a crash that knocked down a power pole right in between these two homes at about 3 o'clock this morning. When they arrived down, Duke was already on the scene. They had been here all night. Covington Battalion Chief John Martin says that Duke crew was working on repairing the snapped power pole. They noticed some smoke in the back of the building, called for a full response. And by the time the rest of the guys got here, it had, gotten, it had been in the walls and kind of came through the roof on us. About 50 firefighters from Covington, Ludlow and Park Hills worked to get water on the roof of the vacant home. Chief Martin says that it was a labor intensive fire. Cut up, a lot of additions, multiple roofs, um, and the fire was in about every crevice. One neighboring home had to be evacuated because of its proximity, but luckily the fire didn't spread next door. Chopper 9 could see crews knocking down walls inside when firefighters were finally able to safely navigate the home. The cause is still under investigation. They're looking into whether or not that overnight crash into the power pole ultimately caused this fire. Reporting in Covington, Allie Kramer, 9 on your side.